Welcome to a special episode of Chem in 3. It's special because this episode is dedicated to students taking this year's May 2018 exams in both chemistry and biology. And the reason why I'm combining chemistry and biology into one is because of a couple of factors. The most important one is that a very, very special group of young men and women will be taking this IB exam in May 2018, and I have had the privilege of working with them, not only in chemistry, but also in biology. And of course, not to forget all of those people who were in my chemistry class, and all of those in my biology class. And the second reason is because the IB biology exam and the IB chemistry exam is an important exam for so many of you students taking the IB diploma this year. And both of these exams have been scheduled very close to each other on those very important days in the middle of May. On May 14th, in just about 44 days from now, you will be getting ready to go into the exam hall on the afternoon period, the PM, to take paper one of IB Biology. And then, after a short break, you would move into paper two, SL or HL. Both of these papers are very important for you. And of course, I have given many tips about how to approach both of these papers in previous videos and how to use the biology guide and the chemistry guide, how to use the multiple choice questions to your advantage. But what I want to specifically focus on with biology is paper two. And in paper two, it's important that you come to the exam with enough of a night's rest behind you so that you would be able to work efficiently on the very important data-based question, which carries a significant chunk of the marks in the all-important paper two. So it's important that if you want to do some last-minute cramming, ensure that you come to the exam hall with enough rest so that you can sit, analyze the data, and answer the questions correctly. And then when you finish paper one and paper two, comes the all-important paper three. And the thing about paper three, especially for HL students, is you realize that section A, of course, is based on the prescribed practicals. And you might be familiar with my playlist of videos for the IB Biology prescribed practicals. But I want specifically to give you some hints for section B. In other words, the one that is based entirely on the single option that you're supposed to study. And of course, you can't mix and match questions from section B. All of your questions must be answered from a single option. But the thing is, if you're an HL student especially, bear in mind that the bulk of the marks allocated, just over 50% of the marks allocated, would be for questions based on HL parts of your option. So it's important that you go home on the night of the 14th and you spend time studying your option in reverse, studying the HL topics first and then moving to the SL topics as you grow a bit more tired. But it's certainly worth your while to spend a few hours on the 9th of the 14th studying for that exam on the 15th because you know for a fact that section B is going to be based entirely on your option and there's going to be a bias towards questions from the HL section of your course. Of course, SL students, you have a significantly shorter amount of work to cover and it's entirely possible that you can study thoroughly for the option in one carefully planned night of study. So please ensure that you're ready to go home, get a short nap, and put in some significant study for paper three on the 15th of May. And then of course, you can't afford to run out of steam because many of you are going to be facing on the very same afternoon, possibly a Spanish exam, and then definitely the next day in the afternoon the IB chemistry exam. And again, paper one and paper two, I've provided hints for these in last year's videos. But again, I want to point out about the all important paper three, which you have an additional night to prepare for after you have done paper one and paper two in the afternoon of Wednesday 16th May. You can go home and get some rest and then spend a few hours preparing for paper three 
of the HL exam and the SL exam. And again, for students taking paper three in the HL exam, I encourage you to study your option in reverse because again, most of your marks will be designated for questions in the HL topics. And in any case, the HL topics are the more difficult ones. So it's important to spend your time studying those first and then move to the easier SL topics. And of course, for SL students, it's a time to put behind however you've performed in paper one and paper two, and to ensure that you put in a few hours of solid study, for it can make a huge difference in your performance on paper three. And finally, before I close this video, I would like to take the time out to give a special shout out to the two groups of young people that I've had the privilege to work with in preparing them for this year's IB Biology and Chemistry exams. And to all of you, best of luck in this year's exams.